First of all, let's go through the Daily Telegraph today. It's a photo bombshell, it claims. Uh, it's a picture of Darren Laguire uh, with uh, Gladys Berejiklian uh, close behind and meeting Xi Jinping. Uh, it is a bombshell. Do you call it that as well? Yeah, absolutely. And there's several revelations today that definitely don't help mm. the Premier. There's this one in the Daily Telegraph. There's also in the Sydney Morning Herald revelations that she met with some publicans that had criminal histories that her, her ministers, her other ministers, refused to, to meet with. So, you know, this is going to be a really testing few days for Gladys Berejiklian, especially because Daryl Maguire is going to be giving evidence to ICAC mm. over the next couple of days and really her future hangs in the balance. I think it's unfortunate because, you know, is she corrupt? Pro like, I, I probably don't think so. She's, you know, everyone thinks she's a straighty 180. Um, but was her judgment potentially clouded by being in this relationship? Mm. Well, it appears so. So the next few days will really will be crucial. Yeah, and, and I guess uh, if, if she's guilty of perhaps being naive, then maybe a lot of other people think, well, what else has she been naive about? She, she is, as you know, she's very popular um, and she's done such a great job throughout the COVID crisis and the bushfires as well. But, but regardless of what happens here, and, and the expectation is that, that she wouldn't contest the next election anyway, but is her legacy tarnished by this, do you think, Lani? Yeah, absolutely. And it really is unfortunate because, as you said, she did do a good job during the bushfires. She has done a great job during COVID-19 and she is an effective Premier. So it, it really is unfortunate that this is coming to the mm. fore. But I, I guess, you know, um, we all have to live with our decisions, as, as she, uh, I think, has said over the past couple of days. And, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see where this lands in the next couple of days. But definitely... Yeah. Um, you know, people are circling. Yeah, uh, and there must be some concern about what might come out of the ICAC today. Uh, meanwhile, on the front page of the, the AFR this morning, Lani, uh, it's uh, the other Premier. What a, what, a, what a state of play state politics is in at the moment. Daniel Andrews also digging his, heels, uh, his feet in uh, despite pressure and surviving a no-confidence motion. That, as a matter of fact, is also coming for Gladys Berejiklian today. Yeah, absolutely. There is no doubt that the state premiers in New South Wales and Victoria are under immense pressure. People in Victoria are, have been in lockdown for such a long time now that they really are feeling despondent and they also are feeling as though they don't trust what Daniel Andrews mm. is saying. So many of them really do want him to go. I, I'm not sure that Daniel Andrews um, is under the same amount of pressure as Gladys Berejiklian, but Certainly it is very interesting that we are seeing both premiers be under such immense pressure. Yeah, uh, and meanwhile, and you're talking about uh, the effect it's having on, on the psyche of people in Australia at the moment, you've got these figures that have come out on the Australian, and we've spoken about this. You've done stories on this, particularly with, with young children um, who've, who've needed mm -hmm. mental health and, and help with mental health during COVID crisis, but, gee, these numbers are staggering, aren't they? The mental health of our nation is really at a crisis point yeah. at the moment and it is important that not just the federal government but also state and territory leaders really take this seriously because, as you did say, I have done many stories about this. We had a story a couple of weeks ago about a 39% increase in crisis interventions for kids, so ambulances and police being sent out to um, their homes to, to intervene in a very serious situation. So these figures today in the Australian really are um, shocking yeah. and we know that the productivity, the major productivity commission report into mental health is due anytime soon. The government said it was going to be releasing it over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, I think that we really, really need to take this seriously because otherwise the mental health crisis that we face is going to be much yeah. larger than the health impacts of COVID. Yeah, and meanwhile, on uh, the West Australian, your paper this morning, Lani, and your story, as a matter of fact, uh, the IMF is backing the hard border. Uh, it, it's good for the economy, they say. It's going to displease a lot of people. 
Yeah, the, the World Economic Outlook was released last night by the International Monetary Fund. It was really interesting because the IMF did say that tight restrictions and um, lockdowns, such as the, the one in, in regards to WA's hard border, they didn't specifically mention WA, but it, that's the type of thing that they were talking about, really uh, benefit the economy and have a, a bigger impact if they're done harder and faster um, than you know, doing medium term measures. So, yeah, obviously Mark McGowan will be happy today, but everyone who wants to get over to WA probably won't be.